The UK has had the final reading of the gay marriage bill, and shockingly for 2013, some people are still opposed to it. I suppose I can understand why some Christians don't like this. I mean, after all, it's been ingrained in them for a very long time that this is the wrong thing to do. Ironic for an institution that seems to turn its back every time a priest is found raping children. Yes, officer. I did sleep with this seven-year-old child, but it's okay. I didn't inhale. So I tried to find out if there were any secular reasons for people opposed to two men or two women getting married and living together. The main one, we're told, is that it's the start of a slippery slope. Presumably a slope with a gay man standing at the bottom with his arms outstretched, and that's why they're so scared. We're told that by redefining marriage that we're opening the doors for later changes in the institution, and eventually people are just going to start marrying their farm animals. Well, not without a pretty big sea change. Do you take this donkey to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do, but I won't inhale. These definitions of marriage aren't ones that I'm familiar with. We're being told now that marriage is purely for procreation of children and the coupling of a man and a woman. Well, that's not the sort of marriage that I was brought up believing in. When I was a child, I was told that marriage was when two people loved one another, and it's when they wanted to spend the rest of their lives together. And that's what it is, a name. It's just a label that we use to define when two people choose to live their lives together as one. To prevent two people from doing this seems anathema to the spirit of the institution. And do we really need an institution to bring more children into the world? It seems to me like we do that well enough on our own. Or at least, with a partner. But the real reason that marriage is important is that it, it binds people and families and communities together. And denying that to a certain part of our population, well, it does nothing to further the, the acceptance that gay people still strive for. I'm not even going to touch on transsexuality here. It's just too bigger subject. I'm not gay. The passing of this bill is going to have no effect on my life. And I think that's why I believe in it. Because something that isn't going to affect anybody else is going to actually bring something good to those that it does. Why would anybody be against that? That's my opinion. Let me know yours by leaving a comment below.